Good morning, everyone from Fujian. We're back in the village we were in last night, trying to find the little parade that's going around the village this morning. We got here a little bit too late, and they already started. I don't know where they are, so we're running around looking for them. Hello, that is from here. Yes, yes, yes. You directly Update. We found the parade. This is no ordinary parade. There's actually no equivalent word in English to describe what is going on here, but basically it's a spring festival custom here in Fujian where the deities visit the human world for a few days. Each day, they're taken through different sections of the village so locals have a chance to see them and give offerings. Definitely the coolest way to get a village tour. For those of you who haven't seen the other videos in this series and are wondering who are these random guys I'm traveling with, they are my friends Asa John and Mehmeti from Kashgar, Xinjiang. We've been traveling together for the past few days exploring spring festival customs here in Fujian and I have to say this morning has been the best one yet. The deities don't just want offerings, they also want a good time. This isn't supposed to be an austere event. Groups of men from the village rotate to take the deities on a fast ride through the street, and it's believed that the faster you run with the throne on your shoulders, the more blessings will come your way. Wherever it's too crowded or narrow to run, the deities are carried at a leisurely pace to enjoy the scenery. The perfect balance of relaxation and excitement. <laughs> I didn't realize just how big this event was until we got out of this main street. We were in all these little alleyways the whole time, but you just don't get a sense of the scale of this parade until you're out on a whole four lane street. Now I'm like, whoa, this is really big. I didn't realize it was this big. <laughs> this was my favorite, the rainbow flag guy. I'm not gonna post the entire thing, but just know we have been here all morning and it's still not done. It is just snaking through every single little street, every little alleyway. This is so cool. Obsessed with Chinese New Year in Fujian.
。当我们跑的时候，所有的这都用掉了。Now the parade is over and the deities will sit out here all day and locals can come and pay their respects. Bring the deities out on the street here is so that everyone can see them. So everyone living in this neighborhood gets a chance to get up close and personal with the deities. 每家每户都要上这么一张桌子。你看他这个桌供桌上肯定有水果有甘蔗，寓意着节节高升，多说好话。每家每户门口都要烧纸。嗯嗯嗯。看这个旗。他这个是今天的主官家，都要插这一面旗。Apparently, there is a little tulo in this village, and they're not that common in urbanized areas. They're more a thing like out in the mountains, but there's apparently a little one in this village, so she's taking us to go see it. Hello. Hello. How are you? Today is tulo, Adash. Adash, you don't know what tulo is. I'll show you. It's this one. It's a bowl. Wow. It's a bowl. It's not that one. 这个娃娃还不认得土豆。啊，前面那个。Here it is, everyone. It's pretty wild to be able to see this in any capacity this close to a city. 明天可以看到完整的，今天先看一个半个土豆。So people are still living in the tulo, kind of, but it's really just more like a really, really tall yard wall. Living in a modern house within the crumbling walls of this old Tulo fortress. Apparently, this thing has been around for about two or three hundred years, and in the 1960s, it started kind of crumbling into disrepair, and nobody really went out of their way to fix it. And a little bit of the inner wall is still here. Look at this puppy; she really is made out of dirt. <laughs> 今天晚上的王宫出行会来趟这口井。不，怎么样？ Here's some more old dirt walls here, and as it disintegrates, it's being replaced with concrete and bricks. 还有两两户人住。很私密啊，这个小院儿，是不是？有点有点小隔绝哈。这里的是外面一个围楼，里面是一百零八户住在这里面。
，这不是住的跟一个青年旅馆一样吗？就是感觉。<笑> It's hard to visualize this thing holding over a hundred families when all that's left is crumbling bits of an old wall. If you guys are interested in Tulo fortresses, don't worry, they are coming up in two dedicated videos in a week or so. For now, we're headed to the city of Zhangzhou for lunch, and then we'll be back here in the evening for a little bit more of the deity parade. Good afternoon, everyone, from the streets of Zhangzhou. We had a very chaotic, very exciting morning. We just finished lunch, and now it's time to go for a little stroll in these alleyways. You 跑那么远了？跑能给我一个吗？好，谢谢。Yak si orang nak tunggu siang di mana? Yak si orang nak, entah yang siang nak, entah yang siang nak tu. The market is bustling. Oh, it's that kind of mouse cafe. That guy will buy me that. Hahaha. Can we go? Can we go? It's not a mouse. It's a mouse. Is it Pei Zi? Hahaha. You guys are purposely, right? No, no, it's just a mouse. Can I make them call me the Kilimanjaro? Kilimanjaro. 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 谢谢谢谢。I've seen people live streaming doing just about everything under the sun, but I have not seen this yet. 新疆大韩中国是最快最美的，年底出的都是在新疆的。谢谢谢谢，拜拜。小爱同学，这个豆腐好吃吗？嗯，很香。This is definitely the best tofu puff I have ever had. It's so good. It's so good. Evening is approaching, so we are actually about to head out of here and go back to the village where we were this morning. Oh my goodness, there's a swarm! As mentioned this morning, the deities are here visiting the well, not to get a drink, but to look for hidden treasures inside. Exactly what could possibly be in here, I'm really not sure because I heard several different versions of the story. But anyway, whatever the deities were looking for, they didn't find it, so better luck next year. Pushing it on. 
One more exciting day in Fujian has come to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed the daily parade, both the day and the night version, and stay tuned for our upcoming Tulo Fortress videos. See you guys next time.